Welcome to Barwell Tool Talk. I'm Walter Pitluski. My name is Jack Bravenel. Let's, Let's talk, talk tools. tools. <laughs> I like that. Due to a lot of inquiries about uh, different notches for larger format tiles, we came out with this Euro notch, and it is being very well received. Uh, I like it for larger format tiles because it, it gives you two different levels of thin set, that, and it enables you to bed a tile if it's standing proud and you have more control. I have used it on bigger tiles. On bigger tiles, why? Because on a bigger tile, you need to uh, have more grout or more mortar down. More so mortar or the ability to level it? It has different levels of grooves. Yeah, so can you, can you nest, can, if one's high, can you push it you down? You can with this because you ah. have higher uh, thin set on, you know, and then yeah. you got deeper. Yeah. And it's pretty. What I have found is uh, years ago, for big tiles like the Mexican pavers, uh, we would use, um, I believe it was a half inch notch trowel. And with this one here, it's a half inch, I would consider it a half inch because you've got the width of these here. Um, but you got more uh, versatility with this um, notch trowel. And I have been using this, uh -huh. the first one you gave me there. And um, I'm enjoying it with bigger tiles because everybody is going with the bigger, heavier tiles. So you need to have a, a better mortar base, uh, thin set base under those tiles. So. Well, Good design. classically in the old days, you had a setting bed of fresh mortar uh, dry pack, and it gave you the ability to bed tiles better. Today, you're thin setting over concrete or thin setting over uh, uh, cement, board. cement board or DITRA, or you, you got all these different uh, formats, and those tiles are sharp edged. There's no cushion edge anymore. What happened to cushion edge? There's still cushion edge Where? out there. All over. I, I lay a lot of that. Yeah. The only sharp edge tiles I'm using are like uh, travertine, marble, granite. Ground, ground porcelain. Yeah. Too. God, ground, they're they're just, rounded. They're uh, coming out rounded, but they're. Can you, that's not all. There's more. Yes. Uh, another issue with the uh, need to use a neural notch too is the, uh, in the large format tiles, they're wanting to go to one eighth and one sixteenth joints. Yeah. And and I mean. Any lippage stands out like a sore thumb, and, and you know when the contractor comes in and you want your check, if he sees something standing, probably he's gonna say, "What's this?" And never had that happen, but no, I agree. I've sure, seen it. The sun rises in the <laughs> west. <laughs> it does in your world. <laughs> I've also found with this, um, where in the past you'd have to go back and pull tiles up to to build up the mortar. Uh, with this one, I haven't had that problem. Um, using this. I mean, you go back? Well, in the past with other notch trials, oh. you know, just to no, build meant, them up. I mean, you do repairs? No, when I'm working on the job. Walter, pay attention. Focus. Where, where am I? No. Focus. Yes. <laughs>